Hello and welcome to yet another photo shoot video and today we're with Olive again. Hi. <laughs> uh, she was also with our photo shoot series in the very first episode actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and now it's actually really nice in the summer and yeah, it's very nice and green, gloomy day and I thought it would be nice to do like a little natural photo shoot here. Um, yeah, let's get into the video. Let's do it. <laughs> So I, like for this shot, I think I want like the whole um, body shot and it's just pretty much kind of, I think it might actually be better if we move a little bit, then I can use you to maybe cover the pier a little bit. It's just this bridge or path is like a nice leading line. Nice. Yeah. All right. So since it's summer now, I thought why not do a photo shoot in a natural environment because the grass has very different colors now, the trees, the leaves, they all just have different tones, different vibes to them and I thought it might be nice to actually do a natural environment photo shoot where the theme would be having a model kind of exploring or just walking through the nature. And there's this really nice park nearby with really nice passage through the park where there's a little bit of water and I just thought it might be just a perfect location to do this photo shoot. And as usual I'm using the Canon 85mm f1.2 Mark II L for this photo shoot and of course I'll be using it at f1.2 and it's on the Canon EOS R6. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Um, I was wondering what if you kind of like sit in the middle of the pier, um, like no, no, just um, kind of sideways, just looking towards this, and yeah, just, yeah, legs out like that. Maybe a tiny bit backwards. Yeah, just, yeah, and then just, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Mm, like, just, just a tiny bit, just towards this, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. And maybe like play with the uh, plants as you did earlier. Yeah, that's nice. I'll get a bit closer. I actually like that pose. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay. Um, uh, actually, just, sorry, just just keep on sitting. I was wondering, like, uh, maybe you could, you could do the first pose before you play with the plant uh, that you did, and just be a bit up here. Yeah. yeah that's great. Yes, I like that. Ooh. Oh yes, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, good. Should we actually maybe move to that pier and maybe um, just just be the little? I I really don't know how you call it pier or because it's very small. <laughs> but it's nice for a picnic though. <laughs> yeah, I think for um, would you be comfortable sitting? Okay. Um, I think almost touching water just. Yeah, kind of like this tipping. Yeah, wow. 
This is nice. Could you just move a tiny bit to that side? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Oh my god, this is really nice. Let me try to use this plant as like a foreground. Hold on. Oh yes. Yes. I like that. Oh yeah. Do you want to see some of the images? I, I think they are really, really nice. Oh my god, with the reflection, that's yeah. beautiful. And then it turns out to be another golem shot. <laughs> golem or Smeagol. I need to be sort of here. That's challenging. So even though my style is pretty much having the subject in the center of the frame, but I occasionally do like to actually have some foreground elements as it does actually create some sort of depth and dimension to the image. And I think in the nature scene like this, some foreground elements of the grass, or even if it's blurred out, I think it will just work really well together. But of course, this is very subjective. Some people like it to be very pronounced. And I personally like it there, but just very, very minimal. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, I like that, okay. <laughs> I was wondering, maybe I can go a little bit deeper and then um, could you maybe try to use the, uh, the branches protruding out from the flowers? Yeah. It's like a little foreground. Or actually, maybe, here, like if, oh, like, I'm gonna use these as foreground and maybe you could, yeah. Where the intersection meets. So. Yeah. A little bit further, yeah. a little bit, yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh yes. This is very mysterious. <laughs> oh yes. This is nice. Actually, do the hair again. Wait, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let me go a bit closer. Just, just turn. Yeah, that's good. Whew. Okay. Actually, maybe I, think, I don't know if it's gonna look good or not. But if like you could go behind the uh, branches, yeah, I, um, yeah. Let, let let me try. See if it would be distracting. Oh yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, yes, it's nice. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that's. 
that's nice. Slee, could you try to play with the flower or the branch again? Yeah. Mm, could you maybe do the same just, just on, on the side of the branch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's nice. <laughs> yes, that's nice. Yeah, I think we have it. <laughs> I like the stare. <laughs> around the bush. Are you comfortable walking there? I was thinking maybe like I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not but if you could maybe sit here mm -hmm. and maybe also play with a branch. Yeah. Yeah. Could we do with something with a sitting pose here or do you think it's a little bit too messy? No, it's nice. Okay. Are you comfortable sitting though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that this is cool. Also, even though if you're hiring a model or asking other people to model for you, always make sure you ask if the location or the place is okay for them to shoot because it's also about them being comfortable as oh, yeah. well. Because at the end of the day, you also have to be considerate and also have to respect them as well. And of course, if they're not happy with something, it will also translate into the image as well. Let me go back a little bit. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really beautiful. Can you maybe like play with your hair? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Whew. Yeah. I think we have it for this. Oh, and actually maybe maybe we could try this. Um you maybe like stand over here and actually not over here but kind of over here what's this screen i was wondering like maybe a shot where you kind of like um put your hand on the tree or just kind of like a simple walking around um shot yeah yeah it's just kind of like walking around or um uh like you're exploring the uh park Yeah, that's really be beautiful. Actually, could we try the other branch again? Like, I think this branch is a little bit 
um, not really good as the other branch. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get a bit closer on this one. Yes, that's really nice. Actually, maybe like uh, the final shot for this location, maybe like if you could go over there yeah. and maybe just sit. Yeah, I think, yeah, in the middle or like, I think a sitting shot here would look really nice with a reflection. Yeah. And for the last location here, to be honest, I just saw this location right yeah, at the location yeah. and I thought it might be just oh, wow. a nice overall image to kind of end the series with. And I think it's also a nice location as an establishing shot of the whole series, simply because this shot oh, yeah. actually We're tells the whole environment. Again. There's the Sorry. little kind of Three, pond two, going one. through the entire park and there are a lot of trees, oh, a lot yeah. of nice flowers and grass. And uh, yeah, it's just an overall a nice ending it's to really, the whole really series. Good. Actually, could you put your foot up? Just, just like your hand reaching into the water. It's kind of like... Yeah. And maybe like... Um, yeah, your hand touches each other like that. Um, maybe on the other knee and then just put... Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Even though this location is very nice for sunny shoots, actually it's very popular for it. But I think it's also nice to actually shoot on a gloomy day. The lighting is very different, it's more soft, there's no harsh shadows. And to be honest, in the past I've shot quite a few summer shoots here where it was really sunny. But it's just also nice to try to experiment with the gloomy weather. Because in the same time, the soft light can actually work to the advantage of the skin tones, of the colors in the atmosphere, of the environment, that nothing is too harsh and not too contrasty so yeah just try to experiment wait keep keep the pose sorry yeah great yeah could you play with your hair maybe Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Just... Oh yeah. Okay, I think we have it. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you can actually gain something from it and actually go out and shoot more in gloomy weather. Not only wait for the sun to come out, simply because I think you can get really, really interesting shots even with gloomy weather or super overcast daylight, things like that, simply because it just offers a totally different perspective of lighting that other people or actually most people overlook. And yeah, it's just pretty much about finding that perspective that actually fits you. And who knows, maybe you might end up shooting more on gloomy days or rainy days 
or overcast days or what have you. So yeah, I hope you can really take something away from this video and be inspired. If not a lot, then a little. And thank you very much for watching. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's linked down in the description section below. It's absolutely for free. Just click and download. No need to submit your email address, nothing. I will not bombard you with any nonsense newsletters. And yeah, thank you very much again for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now.